Hello, Scentsy fans. It's Sarah from Sweet Scents from the Dollhouse. I am bringing you another video. Um, quick warning, it's Wednesday, so I have filmed Box Wars as well as now I'm trying to film Throwback Thursday. Just get them all out. <laughs> Ella just woke up from her nap and she's out there with her sister and she can hear my voice in here, so she's like, bah, 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 knocking at the door screaming for me. So if you hear a troll screech, I might have to pause this, but I'm gonna try and get through it as quick as possible, as efficient as possible, so I can go out there and deal with my monkey. So this week's episode of Throwback Thursday is on Sensi's Snow Lay, which was requested by my subscriber, Adrian. Um, I'm super happy that she picked this one. Uh, I'm not exactly sure when this was introduced to the Scentsy collection. I did receive this from a Scentsy D stash, a good one, because if you've watched my channel for a while, I've had some bad ones. Um, but I was super lucky to get four or five of these in total, I think. And I have since sold every one but this bar to my customers because they're like, oh, you have that? I should have hoarded it and said, no, I don't know what you're talking about. But I didn't realize how amazing this was. Ignorant me thought, ugh, it's just like a couple versions of Snowberry ago. No, 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 no. Let me tell you, the scent notes say, take a dive into a festive punch of citrus, fu blah, blah, blah. citrus fruits Nashi pear and icy sparkling water topped off with a rich and creamy dollop of marshmallow mousse. So say this one was still in the catalog, I would have read that and went like, Phew, pass, that sounds disgusting, I hate fruits, who knows what icy sparkling water smells like, and marshmallow mousse? No. Honestly? Again, I prove time and time again, anything that I think sounds gross turns out to be amazing. This is beautiful. I don't really know the difference between Nashi Pear and Pear fragrances. Is it a little bit more bitter than a regular pear or not as sweet? because I don't smell like your traditional, like honey pear cider. I don't smell that same pear in this. You definitely get that festive punch citrusy scent. And it's not really an effervescent scent. Like the mimosa in um, dazzling pomegranate either but you get this like almost fizzy note like a fizzy fruit punch ish if that makes sense and what I thought would be probably my least favorite part I get a wicked marshmallow mousse scent in here but it's just so sweet and so unique this one blew my mind and I'm actually mad that I sold the rest of these this is amazing. Not to say that Snowberry isn't. Snowberry is great on its own and in its own right and for its own reasons, but Sensi needs to bring this back. So this lasted a total of one cube in a 25 watt warmer in a 600 square foot room as always, but one cube lasted six hours and 40 minutes. The first, uh, uh, sorry, the first, I'd say, three and a half to four hours. It had a good six to eight foot throw. Um, I wouldn't consider this a strong scent or even a strong performer, but it's it's a mid to almost high, if you know what I mean. Um, the last two hours and 40 minutes, I thought it was gone, but it's one of those like peekaboo fragrances that just when you think it's gone and you should change out your warmer, you get these beautiful little hints of it in the air. It's gorgeous. To be perfectly honest, this is probably my favorite Scentsy Christmas scent that I have tried so far. And by those scent notes, I'm telling you, Scentsy broke the traditional mold with this one, and I'm so sad that they didn't bring it back this year. 
because it is amazing. Um, so on fragrance, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. It is so unique and just so perfectly scentsy. Um, I don't know why we still don't have this. It is gorgeous. If you see a scentsy consultant at a Christmas show or call your local scentsy consultant, she might have some of these laying around from previous Christmases. Tell her to dust them off and sell them to you because it is gorgeous. Um, also, Another interesting fact is I started melting this to do my episode of Throwback Thursday on Sunday. So one cube lasted six hours and 40 minutes in a large space. And I started this um, like late Sunday afternoon. At the same time, just for curiosity's sake, I put one cube in our bathroom, which is considerably smaller, obviously, and it's a 15 watt Scentsy mini plug-in warmer. Um, what is it? The holiday lights one? Uh, super cute. But it has been in there since Sunday afternoon. It is Wednesday afternoon, and I am just ready to turn it off. Sunday to Monday, Monday to Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Three days later, and that has been on 24 hours a day for three days. So this is the perfect example of how scents perform very different in very different environments and in different warmers. So again, I know I've said it on my channel before, just because it doesn't throw or it's not working in one room, move it, test it out, don't give up on it because you could be missing out on a fabulous performer. If you, know, you chalk it up to a crappy bar, you might not be. You just have to troubleshoot it a bit. Uh, so Snow Lay was definitely a winner in my books. I am super happy I melted this and saved one for Throwback Thursday. Um, I'm already three cubes, I guarantee you. I, I try really hard not to hoard this because Irrational Sarah's like, stash it away and wait until it wins to bring back my bar before you melt the rest of it. No, nope. I'm just going to melt it this holiday season and enjoy it because I'm done with hoarding stuff. It's it's meant to be melted. It's meant to be enjoyed. I am definitely going to enjoy this throughout the holiday season. So for next week's episode of Throwback Thursday, as always, the first person to comment below gets to pick the fragrance between Retired Scents, White Sands, Sweet Plum Pastry, or frosted ginger cookie. I would be happy with any of these. These are all phenomenal on cold and I can't wait to do another episode of Throwback Thursday for you guys. If you like these videos be sure to give them a thumbs up, subscribe, smash the bell above for future content notification and I look forward to bringing you daily home fragrance videos. Bye for now.